That's right, kids. Yes, it's Gaylord. Gaylord, the crazy basset hound from Ideal. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Kevin Preston Toy Box, and we bring you Gaylord. Gaylord, you look kind of crazy. Who's kind of lazy? See what he'll do. Gaylord, what a useful little wee you. Walkity walkity walk with you. Yes, Gaylord is made by Ideal in the early 60s. Many of you have probably seen the uh, song that is on YouTube, the original commercial. Made by Ideal, and uh, I got him for uh, Christmas. He does work. Now my model's not particularly bad shape, but does need some adjustments. Uh, does have some broken tabs and some screws that we're gonna have to straighten out. But basically, when you pull on his leash, he does attempt to walk. Here he's going backwards, and we'll encourage him to walk forwards here. And you see with a lot of noise and some holdups, he does pretty well. Uh, you'll notice that his that he is, body is lifting right here. And there's some a broken tab or something. We're going to basically have to just take him apart, find out where the tabs are, oil his motors, and see if we can put him back together in good shape. And now we've got old Gaylord back in the shop. And as you can see overall... He's not in bad shape, but there are some things broken on him that we're going to fix. Um, as I said in the earlier part of the video, um, this part of his case, see if you can see it right here, as you can see, opens up. And the screws, as you can see right in there, are the whole, the um, plastic is broken where the screw is supposed to hold this plate on. On the other side, it looks the same. So we're gonna open him up and re-epoxy him in those areas. And I put a towel down, protect the surface. Um, this is a battery door. It has a less, uh, latch that swivels open. And we're gonna take out the batteries. Gaylord takes four batteries. And then we're going to remove the screws and take off the top part of him. And uh, for that activity, use a medium sized screwdriver, take out these remaining screws. I also have one that was inside that fell out. So we should have all our screws. And the top of Gaylord comes off. And we can see his mechanicals inside. There was a piece of something floating around in here. And I'm going to see if I can find out what that is. There it is. And it's a piece of plastic that's going to need to be glued back on a piece of the body somewhere. Now, with the top of the dog off, you can see how Gaylord works inside. And it's typical ideal engineering, which is just great. Um, this is made nicely with nice quality plastics and, and metal chains, not plastic chains, and nice sturdy gears. And they've got a big honking motor for the time in here. You can see the size of the motor. To give you an idea, slot car motors are about a third or a quarter that size. Because it's got to drive a lot of, a lot of heavy plastic here. So what you see is you see a, a gear assembly here. The red motor back here, and then a um, set of gears drives this armature right here for the front legs, and then a chain goes back here to drive the cranks for the, for the left legs. And they're just so arranged so that they can make the dog walk in a uh, forward motion or backward motion. Here's the leash, and when you pull it, it pulls a cord that goes inside on, onto this wheel right here. And this wheel inside the sandwich right here has metal connections that simply reverse the polarity of the batteries and make them go backwards and forwards. So here was a chunk of plastic that we found, uh, and I'm still looking to see where it goes. You can see that the two front screws have broken the plastic off the other side here, where they should be screwing into. 
So we're going to reattach that with epoxy. And then one post is broken right there. And there's the screw that's holding that in right there. That post right there, you can see that remainder of that post broken off, belongs on this. So we're going to fix all that up. Um, he is in relatively good shape for a 1962 toy. And he does work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the batteries back in. And I'm going to lubricate the motor a little bit because it's starting to squeal and make noise. And get him just working a little better. Then we're going to glue the pieces back on. And then we're going to clean them up and reassemble them. No big deal. I like him just the way he is. Now, the only other problem that we have with him is I believe the nose at some point had a glued on piece of metal. I don't know where. I'd have to maybe look at the commercial to get a little better idea. It looks like somebody attempted to remedy the broken magnet or whatever with a piece of Velcro. Maybe they had one piece there and one on the dog, which isn't a bad idea, actually. But uh, I'm going to do a little more exploring on that to get the nose working so I can pick up his bone. But that's really all secondary and tertiary level concerns. Right now, I just want to get him working and get him so that his uh, top um, goes on there because without that it was binding and shifting and binding and causing a problem with this little part that rotates around to um, basically disguise the uh, uh, inside so you can't see. So we're going to start working on all that and see where it takes us. Now we lubricated them all up in the motors inside but it's hard to test them out without the shell screwed together and if you try to hold it together with your hands his legs will bump into your hands and warp everything. So what we did is we got all these plates back in where they're supposed to be, snapped back in, put the cover on, and then I made a little temporary harness for them so we could test them. So check this out. Look how much more quiet he is and smooth. and then reverse. Nice. So what we're going to do now that the oil, that the motors are all oiled uh, and everything is nice, what we're going to do is take off the top again, fix the brakes, uh, glue things back together, and then screw him back together and he'll be ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is this top right um, screw right here we're going to remove that has that broken piece of plastic. And notice we've wrapped his head and ears away in uh, towel and uh, plastic so that as we work with glue we're nowhere near getting on his ears or his head or anything like that. So we're going to take this off. This has been broken off a while ago. I'm going to use a little bigger screwdriver so we don't strip threads. And very carefully take it off so we don't break the post. See, a lot of these toys, you don't need to screw them together really hard. And people do. Or they're loose, so they screw them together really hard and they break the posts. All right, you can see that I have re-glued uh, that piece of plastic. And this one over here with 5-minute epoxy. And even though it's five minutes, epoxy is supposed to have its strength within a few minutes. I usually let it go one or two hours just to make sure it's fully cured and up to strength. And then uh, we'll finish cleaning him out. We've cleaned out some of the old grease and stuff. We're going to finish that up. Then we're going to reassemble the top again and see how he works. So now it's time to test him out. So we will try him forwards and then try him backwards. So with a pull on his leash, there he goes. <laughs> 